Sandbar Wildlife Management Area is Vermont's oldest WMA. The Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department purchased this diverse and wildlife-rich property back in 1920. It encompasses more than 1,500 acres and is located in the town of Milton, where the Lamoille River empties in the Lake Champlain. It is the second largest river delta wetland in the state of Vermont. Only Missisquoi Delta and Missisquoi National Wildlife Refuge are larger than Sandbar. It's a magnificent wetland. It has a lot of natural communities that are very important to wildlife and it has a nice stand of wild rice. It also has quite a bit of floodplain forest, which are really important to just a whole variety of fish and wildlife. One of the unique features of the Sandbar WMA is the wetlands portion as a refuge with no public access. When it was acquired, the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department recognized how important this area is for waterfowl, both as a nesting area in the spring and a feeding and staging area in the fall. In the fall, we'll get populations of 5,000 or more ducks on the area, uh, comprised primarily of wood ducks, mallards, black ducks, and ringneck duck, green winged teal, uh, using the marshes and potholes and flooded timber on the area. Most of the habitat work on the WMA is done to maintain or improve nesting habitat for waterfowl and other migratory birds. It's also an important bird banding site. Rocket nets are used every year to capture ducks for the department's waterfowl banding program. In late summer, we have a banding site located on the Sandbar Wildlife Management Area where we ban primarily wood ducks and mallards. And in a good year, we may ban three, four hundred birds on that site. We're up to 18. Yep. That's your, the birds uh, that are there are attracted to the area because of the high quality of wetland habitat they use both for rearing their young and also for uh, molting. Uh, every year ducks go through a flightless period where they shed all of their primary feathers and are flightless and in situations like that they're looking for a good swimmable cover to get into uh, to get escape predators until they molt all their feathers and replace their flight feathers. And uh, sandbar is one of those areas that seems to attract molting ducks in, in late summer. And uh, when we ban, we oftentimes ban a lot of adult birds, and that's an indication that it's a, it's a molting area. Sandbar WMA is also used by a variety of other migratory birds, including several species that call it home during the spring and summer months. I think a lot of people are familiar with uh, nesting ospreys that we have at Sandbar. You can see them when you drive along Route 2 when you're headed towards Sandbar State Park. Uh, Many of them are nesting on platforms that were built on the power lines to provide a safe nesting site. And almost every one of those power lines along the marsh some years will have an osprey nest on it. The wetlands also provide spawning habitat for northern pike, crappie, and other fish. Shore fishing within the refuge is allowed only at the large culvert near the bend on Route 2. Just beyond the refuge boundary on Lake Champlain, however, Anglers can fish for a variety of species, notably largemouth bass. The lakeshore is also a favorite location for waterfowl hunters. As fall approaches, both sides of the WMA are often lined with duck blinds. Sandbar WMA is 70% wetland and 30% forested upland. The upland portion is located on the east side of Route 2. This is the only section of the WMA where hunting is allowed. This area is full of nut-producing trees, including red oak, hickory, and some white oak. It provides habitat for a variety of wildlife, including wild turkeys, squirrels, and rough grouse, and is an important travel corridor for white-tailed deer. Although most of the WMA is a refuge that can't be explored, there are plenty of areas close by to enjoy the wildlife that uses the Sandbar Wildlife Management Area.